Well, welcome everybody to the Bangkok Story, A Stray Dog. A top-down 2D story-driven adventure game inspired by real-life events, traverse and experience the life of a formerly homeless man through an interview of how he regained his sense of self by telling his past to a stray dog. Set in Bangkok, Thailand, 2018. This is an upcoming game that's coming out soon, maybe. Uh, there is not an official date for this, but I have been given a demo version of this to check out. Um, it was brought to my attention by the developer, so thank you for the developer for uh, giving my attention to this. It seems like a really cool game, and it seems like something that for sure some people would really appreciate after we've played Change, uh, Homeless Survival, I believe, right? Change? I forgot the name of the game, but yes, you know, Change, the Homeless Survival Experience game. <clears throat> Now, you can actually download the demo for yourself and give it a try if you want to. Also, if you would like to see this uh, game come to the channel when it is released, let me know by hitting the like button, commenting down below, subscribe if you're new to the channel, and let's go ahead and give this a let's look at of Bangkok story, A Stray Dog. So it does look like there is control support to this game, which actually I was not, um, I was not actually expecting. So this is really cool. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and just use the, uh, keyboard and mouse, I think for now, maybe, I don't know. Should I put in a, uh, put in a, uh, controller? Who knows? You know what? No, we'll just keep with the, uh, keep with what we have here. It looks like we are somewhat with this little like thing going on down here. Oh, yeah. oh. Oh my lord. Somebody knocking at the door? Uh, yes? Who's there? Landlady. Jeez. Took you so long. Sorry I was asleep. Are you the homeless guy that everyone's been talking about? Yeah, I guess. How long are you going to be staying? Um... I, uh, there's this foreign girl who wants to interview you. She said she'd be here in the next two weeks. Get her contact from me and talk to her yourself. Boone, I guess, is that the character's name, Boone? A foreign girl. She said she met you before when you were homeless. Oh, does the girl have brown hair? And I know, I talked to her over the phone. Look, I have a lot of other things to do right now. Do you want her contact or not? Oh, well, yes, yes. Give me a sec. Whoa. All right, so press C or LB to hear the character's thoughts. All right. I need a piece of paper. Oh, that's very cool. So we could just kind of like see what the character's saying. And be like, kind of give us hints, I guess, right? You got paper. So we have paper. Do we need a pen or is that it? Just a piece of paper? That's fine. Okay, here is her contact, at h.aya. Okay, oh, look at this. So type in the contact and press OK. Let me actually use the keyboard. I have to press every individual key. Okay, yeah, you have to press every indi individual key. So h.aya. Very cool. Whoops. Let's do it correctly. Right? Awesome. I don't think that's her contact. Sorry. <laughs> at a... Oh, crap. Um, at... Uh, can we go back? Yeah. Back? Okay. At H dot Aya. There we go. Okay. My bad. Whoopsie daisy. Never forget the at symbol, right? Yeah, you're right. All right. I got it. She's gone. He's wearing an army t-shirt, too. I need to tell Molly about this let later. She has a smartphone. Guess I'll be here a little longer. I'm still tired. I gotta go back to sleep. Such a bliss to be able to sleep in a, in a bed again. I'm still sleepy. All right. So we asked him like his thoughts. We saw the thoughts, and he said he's sleepy. So we'll go back to bed. 
It's a comfy looking bed. No, I think so. December 8th of 2018, Bangkok, Thailand. This must be uh, future, right? Like present time, so to speak, maybe? Since the story is supposed to take place, I guess, I guess in 2017, yeah? Oh. Oh, is that her? The brown hair? That's Aya. Haraya. Haraya? Haraya? I think it's around here. Hmm. Hi, this is Haraya. Um, <clears throat> I... Okay. <laughs> this is Haraya from Haraya Channel, and I am here in Thailand again. Woohoo! Oh, does she have, like... Is she like a vlogger, yeah? She got her own, uh... Own channel, yeah? And today's video is gonna be something, um... It's gonna be something surprising. Five months ago, I interviewed a homeless man here in Thailand. His name's Boon, and, uh... He said that he lost his family. He couldn't contact them. Oh my gosh. But now... He has found his lost, long lost family, and that has been over 10 years. Can you believe that? And that gives me the idea of making a follow up video. This video. Hmm. I think it's this apartment here. So basically, in, the vi in this video, I'm going to ask him the whole story from how he became homeless and how he found his long lost family again. This video will be very long. I'm not sure how long it will be. And it's gonna be full of ads, I promise. I'll use all the money made from this video to donate to homeless charities. Oh, I'm so excited. Let's go find his apartment. And I believe this is it. According to the map, let me contact him real quick and I'll be right back, okay? The boon? Or is that the landlady? Wait, who is that? Um... Are you... Mally? Oh, that's Mally. Boon's friend. Ah, yes, yes, uh, English. Uh, here we go again. <laughs> oh, hi, hi, I'm Hara uh, Haraya, the blogger you talked on the phone. Is Boon upstairs? Uh, thought I told her I suck at English. Uh, yes. Um, you're Boone's wife, right? Ooh. Huh? Wife? Are you Boone's wife? White? No, wife. You know, a man, a woman together. Ah, no, Boone, no wife. Uh, Boone, wife, she... Oh, I, I think I understand. I'm sorry. Um, sorry, I already tell you, English me no good. You talk boon, he tell you. Oh, okay. I mean, honestly, you should have probably talked about boon. You should have probably asked boon first and foremost. Boon, open the door. The foreigner's here. Speak English for me. That was pretty good English, though. Boon! You taking a shit or what? I've been waiting forever. What are you smiling at? <laughs> I'm sorry. You're over exaggerating as always. Oh, hello. Uh, Swazi. Uh, Swazika. Uh, so I'm so apologizing if I miss. I totally. Swazika. Swazika. Swazidika. I'm so sorry. Oh my gosh, you look well. What are you doing? Oh. It has been. Uh, I, I don't know how to say this in English, but in Thai, we say two and ten. Two and ten? Speechless. Yes, that's the word. Ah, I see. I'll be downstairs, okay? All right. Thank you, Auntie. Come in, come in, yeah? Oh, thank you. How about Hiraya? Uh, how about you, Hiraya? How are you doing? I'm good. I'm so happy to see you. When I heard the news, I couldn't believe it. Yes, I couldn't believe it myself. Please, make yourself at home. Sure, thanks. Can I put my backpack here? Of course you can. You 
must be thirsty. Let me get you an authentic Thai drink. Okay, thanks. I will be setting up the camera then. Okay, let me go get her a drink. Out of the refrigerator. You open the fridge. Bottle of Thai tea? Uh, ice. You got ice cubes. Can we put the ice in the glass? You got a glass? And then bottle of Tai Chi. Or Thai tea, not Tai Chi. Uh, so we have to give it to her all in one, yeah? Here you go. I'm sorry the place is a bit small. You may have to sit on a mat. No, don't be. I'm totally fine with it. No worries. Try some authentic Tai Chi. Put in ice first or pour the tea? No, we put the ice in first. Now we poured the tea. Thank you. Wow, this is so good. I've had this before in my country, but this one really hits the spot. Isn't it? Okay. Do you mind if I begin the interview now? Not at all, please. Okay. So the last time we met, you were on the street. Can you give me an update? Like, how are you doing now? I'm doing great. I'm doing awesome, actually. Great to hear. I'm so glad to see a big smile like that. Okay, first question. I know I have asked you this before, but could you tell me again what it's like being homeless? Oh, okay. And that's probably where we go right into his stories. Hmm. It's very hard. I felt unseen. You'll see that everyone's walking past you, but it feels as if they're walking right over you. Finding a place to sleep was hard enough. Dealing with nightmare was the worst. And by nightmare, and by nightmare, I mean dreaming about happy pasts. It seemed as if those happy times would never return. But that part of your life's over, right? Now that you get to see your family again. Yeah, you're right. It's over now. I'm sorry if my questions bring back bad memories. I truly am. It's okay. Don't worry about it. By the way, I've been wondering for a while now. What is it? How come you're so good at English? Oh, uh, I had a life before all this. I lived a normal life. Oh. But that life has found its way back to you, right? You will be as happy as you were in no time. <laughs> yeah, thank you for being considerate, Haraya. You're very kind. Thank you. Okay, I think it's time I ask you this question. Can you tell me how did this miracle happen and... Bally wanted to tell me something about that necklace around your neck. Tell me about that. Oh. This one? Yes, of course, but it's gonna be a very long story. You still want to hear it? That's the very reason why I'm here. Please tell me. Oh. Telling a long story makes me feel kind of nostalgic, though. To think that she... Okay. Let's begin with... June 13th of 2017 at 521 in the morning. Sathorn, Bangkok. My name is Boon. That's right. Boon, which means good karma. And I am homeless. How did I end up here? To whom should I blame? Should I blame society? Should I blame the government? Should I blame my family's financial situation? Or should I blame myself? Did I mess everything up? Which part of my life led me here? Episode 1, Only a Shoe. Boone opens a notebook. He reads the notebook. Oh, wow. Look at that. Not that I don't want to go, it's just that I can't. Huh. Press V or RBRT to read the notebook. Somehow it gives Boone some energy. When it sleep, this is from Gala, whoever Gala is. Another homeless person. Had a nightmare? I don't know. I can't remember the dream. Couldn't sleep either? You had a nightmare too? Um, yeah, I, I guess. Hey, 
Uh, shoot. Uh, what is it? I, I don't know, I just... It's been more than 10 years, but I still can't find the answer. I know, right? Let's just say if we have enough money... No. No, no, no. No, no, no. Hey, easy now, easy. I, I don't think you should hurt yourself anymore. So stop thinking. But I, I... I said stop thinking. Let's go to sleep, alright? Got work to do tomorrow, ain't you? Yes, I guess you're right. All right, I'm gonna go to sleep too. You're leaving. Yeah, I gotta survive tomorrow. Okay. Alright, we'll see you around then. And don't think too much. The story is really grasping, man. I feel it. Huh? Morning already? Ah. Uh, fried chicken? Hmm. The Lumpity Mansion. Lumpity Mansion. Let's see our thoughts here. Fried chicken. Let's go over to the fried chicken then. I don't think we have any money, do we? Hello. I have one or two of these. You got any money? I'm sorry, I uh, I have none right now. I've got nothing to eat. Please give me some. Get a effing job. That's how you make money. Please, just one piece. I, I I'm really hungry. Please, I I I beg you, go away. If you don't leave, I will chop you into pieces. Jesus. Alright, sir. Please, I, I promise I will repay you somehow. I said go away. Please. F off! Please. Oh, he pulled out the knife. Oh! 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 Okay. Ah, the wound. I need to do something about it. Yeah, you think? Oh my lord. That guy just cut us in front of, like, people. I don't want to wander away from here. Well, we got to figure out how to deal with this cut, sir. My hey, lord. Nobody cares? There's a woman up there. Then nobody cares about what they just saw? Nothing to say about... A man just getting, like, sliced on his arm like that? It's crazy, man. Talk to this lady up here, this woman. Hello? Are you okay? You look like you just <laughs> fell. I'm okay. It's just a little scratch. It doesn't seem a little to me. Wait, here. I will find an antiseptic for you. Okay. I wonder if there's going to be, like, a decision where we're, like... We either have to use it for ourselves, or we give it to her. You know? Let's go off to the left here and see what's going on. You think the mansion? This is mansion, yeah? This does say mansion. Hello, sir. Excuse me. What do you want, old man? Would you go inside and buy me an antiseptic? Um, I don't think antiseptic is enough. That wound looks pretty bad. Oh, it's not for me. It's for someone else. Wait, what? My friend is hurt. But what about you? You should get that wound checked up. It's okay. I'm fine. I can't pay anyways. But you need to stop the bleeding first, before anything else. Thank you, sir, but I I'm fine, really. An empty septic should do. Fine, if you insist, I'll buy you an empty septic. Follow me. First, you gotta clean up that wound. I'll wait here. And hurry, I can't be off duty for so long. Okay. Alright, well... Let's go and clean up, I guess. At the sink, yeah? Did we clean up? I guess we did, no? <laughs> I don't know, it seems like we're still kind of hurt. Alright, I think we're ready, sir. All done? Yeah. Okay, put pressure on your wound and wait until it stops bleeding. Here, I bought you an antiseptic. Thank you, Mr. Security Guard, you're so kind. 
Come on, let's go outside now. Alright, let's go give it to that girl. Definitely should give it to her. Maybe she'll take us to a doctor. Maybe she'll take us to a hospital. I don't know, but the, the fried chicken guy left. He did leave. Hopefully she's still up here. She is. There she is. Hello? Miss, I got you an antiseptic. Give it to the girl. Oh, thank you. Oh my gosh, look at that wound. Did you go and buy me an antiseptic while you're hurt? Um, come with me. I'll get you something for that, for that, for that at 24 Mart. Oh, okay. Very interesting. I wonder if this is like our soon-to-be wife, maybe. I don't know. There she is. The 24 Mart. I wonder if this was like, maybe, maybe, I don't know. Could you wait here? I'll be back in a minute. She gonna give us some bandages. The sounds in this game are nice. You're still bleeding. Here, I got you some gauze. You got gauze bandage. Thank you, you're so kind. Not as much as you. By the way, how did you get that cut? Um, I was hungry, so I begged for food, but the merchant gave me this instead. Oh, that's just cruel. Here, you got 60 baht. Oh, what's this? Take this and get yourself something to eat, okay? It's enough for a meal around here, at least. And, uh... The girl gives antiseptic back to you. You keep it. I've got plenty of this at home. Use it to treat your wound, okay? Oh, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You're very welcome. So I think I will be going now. Oh, all right. You have a nice day today. You too. Maybe she wasn't going to be our wife then. Thank you. Let's find some place to patch up myself before buying food. Okay. Um, maybe up here, is there, yeah, what's that up there, a little arrow going this way? Maybe like in the alleyway, we'll patch ourselves up or something, rather? <gasps> oh, there's the dog. Stray dog. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. I come in peace. I come in peace. And I sit here. It will just be a minute. You look sad. Someone hurt you too? It's a cruel world, isn't it? Ah. Did he go to sleep? Because he was hungry, yeah? He must have. Oh, wow. Oh. My gosh. Burning. Oh. His wife or Ken. Loon, is that you? Yes, mom, it's me. It's his mom. Okay, it's his mom. His mom. How are you feeling, mom? Busy. Going to be alright, mom. I'm sorry I said some bad things to you. No, I'm the one who should apologize. No, you've done nothing wrong. I've done everything wrong. I've been thinking about what you told me yesterday. You were right. No, look, Mom. I've got so many friends now. I even saved someone's life all because of you. Your decision was right, Mom. But still, I want to apologize to you. For what, Mom? For making you miserable. If you were born into a better family. That's enough, Mom. I'd rather be your son. I'm proud to be your son. I really am. I'm so proud. Thank you, my dear. My life wouldn't be this wonderful if I didn't have you. When you were in my belly, I felt like I was making good deeds all the time. That's why your name's Boone, and good karma. Boone, I want you to remember, no matter how hard your life gets, always be kind. And during your weakest moments, seek companions. From my experience, no one can really survive alone. I've tried that. Though they claim themselves to be strong, but no one really is. Hey mom, I'll remember that. Also, don't forget to cover your blanket properly. 
And don't kick it off in your sleep. You always do that. Snuggle up. Don't worry, Mom. Once your fever's gone, I know you will fix it up for me, right? I... I love you. I love you too, Mom. You haven't answered my question, Mom. Will you fix my blanket for me? Mom? Mom! Mom, talk to me. Mom! Grandma, Auntie Pen! Mom. Wow, wow, wow. Oh. Mom. Did I pass out again? Mom. Uh, really need to find something to eat. That's alright, we can go to the 24 Mart, right? And get some food. Because we have a little bit of, a uh, little bit of change that we got from the nice lady, yeah? No? Okay, maybe not. Maybe we, <laughs> maybe we have to pay for some fried chicken, possibly. Maybe we find the fried chicken guy. What about that? What happens if I go this way? Oh, there's a fried chicken. It's there. I might try to ask first. Let's see if he'll give me some for free. Perhaps telling him I don't have any money will do the trick. I have two. Lie again. After all this time, why haven't I gotten used to it already? Fried chicken. This looks like to be a different guy, maybe. Excuse me, can I have one of these? I'm really hungry right now. Yes, could you wait in line? I don't have any money, though. Could you spare me one? Just one piece, and I'll leave right away. Hmm. Okay, only if you do me one favor. Really? Sure, I'd do anything. I want you to buy me an iced tea. My hands are full with all these customers. The shop is over there. Of course, I'll be right back as soon as possible. That's right. Did he give us money for the iced tea? Hey, wait, old man, you forgot the money. Oh, you're right. <laughs> that was good, good gameplay right there. Here, you got 20 baht. Thank you. Appreciate it. That is good gameplay. Right as I question, wait a sec, he didn't give us the money, and then he told that's pretty good. Oh, wait, there's an iced tea over here, yeah? Hello. Uh oh. Oh, wow. I accidentally pressed pause, and it actually tells us a little bit of something. Looks like he was born May 22nd, 1967, age 50, height 163 centimeters, and weighs 43 kilograms. Huh. I did not know that. Hey, bug off. No, no, I, I got money. Here, look. Ah, customer, what would you like to drink? Nice tea, please. One moment. Here you go. A nice tea. Thank you. I'll go over and give it to the nice guy over here that's willing to give me some food. Just to get him a nice iced tea. Hello, sir. Hello, I'm back with your iced tea. Oh, thanks. I give the iced tea to the merchant. Here's your fried chicken. I'll give you two pieces. You got two pieces of fried chicken. And this. You got sticky rice with it, too. Take good care of yourself, old man. Well, that was very kind. Thank you so much. I don't know how I would ever repay you. Don't worry about it. Let's find some place to eat. Oh, uh, I could share this with the dog in the alley. Okay, yeah. Let's go to the alley. I don't I, I don't remember seeing the dog there. Maybe the dog came back to the alley. But yeah, let's let's go to uh let's go see if the dog's there. Maybe we can give him a piece of fried chicken, yeah? Absolutely. I agree. Uh... Hello? Hmm. He's not here. Oh, uh, well, let's eat first. Oh, there he is. He smelled the food. Oh, there you are. You sm <laughs> he smelled the food, didn't you? Go. Join me. You're hungry too, aren't you? When was the last time you ate? Mine's two days ago. Oh, we have a trash bag now. Maybe recyclables? Bringing it back to this alleyway. And the dog's still there. 
Would it be okay if I sleep here with you? He looks excited. That's an okay, right? Thanks. I'm gonna go work a bit more, alright? So that we can both eat. Would you like that? Yeah, you're a good boy. Uh, uh, wait. You're a good girl. My bad. Let me say that again. Good girl. I'll be right back, alright? You can now pet or show the dog various kinds of affection by talking to her. Oh, look at that. That's so cute. Oh, pat the head? Absolutely pat the head. Yeah. It's a good dog. It's a good girl. Yeah. Loves it. Nice. Cool. Very well. But I think that's where we're going to stop in today's video of Bangkok Story, A Stray Dog. This has been a good let's look at the game, and I'm very excited to see more of this maybe in the future. If you want to see more Bangkok Stray a do or a Stray Dog Bangkok story, let me know. Comment down below, and I will absolutely bring this game to the channel. I don't want to spoil any more of the story because I want to see it in its full fledge, and I don't want to get so involved and kind of just get caught up into it and then be like, oh man, it's just a demo. But this has been awesome to take a look at. Hopefully, y'all enjoyed. Um, leave a like. Subscribe if you're new, and I will see you in the next video or stream, wherever that may be. And do as always, take care.